Hi guys, it's Vanessa here. Welcome back to another video. Before we dive into today's video, I just want to extend my gratitude to all of you guys who watched my last video. I really, really appreciate all your lovely comments. It was really uh, motivating, really encouraging to keep going. So I really, really appreciate it. And to all of my new subscribers, I saw you guys. Thank you so much. I'm so grateful to have you all. And to, I mean, for you to have joined the family, it really means a lot. And I do hope that you enjoy the kind of content that I make and that we can continue to grow together so thank you so much i really really appreciate it i appreciate it and uh yeah so welcome to the family so today's video guys is basically a busy day type of wash routine so i usually do this when i'm extremely busy perhaps the kids or other sort of project that i may be working on and i don't have time to spend ages washing my hair so this works perfectly well for me obviously i don't do this very often um but when it does happen that i've just had enough and i haven't got time and my hair is dirty this is usually what i do so i'm starting on twisted hair so basically uh it's twisted like this from an old twist out so i had so basically if i undid this twist i would have a twist out pretty much so i usually twist my hair like this when i have a twist out to go to sleep and when i want to reuse my twist out i just undo the twist and and then just shuffle it and then it becomes like a normal twist out again so my hair hasn't been detangled and that's what makes this process a bit quicker than my normal routine so um, i'm just starting here washing my hair with a, a, a shampoo the one that i showed you guys um so in case you're wondering i'm washing my hair in a sink yes i said a sink in a bathroom um <laughs> i just find that it's so much quicker there's less cleaning to do afterwards compared to if i actually get in the shower so this works perfectly well for me when i'm in the wash so i'm just making sure here that i'm i rub my scalp really well and yeah just to get rid of that the excess build up of products that i may have and all the dirt pretty much so i'm just rinsing that off now i'm going to clarify my hair using apple cider vinegar so this is basically um diluted apple cider vinegar so you can put uh half apple cider vinegar and then half water okay so that's pretty much the measurements that i use so i'm just putting that not spraying so i'm putting it over my hair massaging it in and then putting a plastic cap on just to allow heat i didn't realize at this point that i had a hole in the bag so sorry guys make sure that yours doesn't have a hole because you need that heat to um to uh, make the apple cider vinegar work better now if you're not using apple cider vinegar in your wash routine i would definitely suggest you do that because it helps clarify your hair it gets rid of excess buildup i only shampooed my hair once in this wash so um the apple cider vinegar was actually really good at getting rid of the excess dirt that i may have had left after i shampooed my hair so now i i didn't show you guys how i rinsed the apple cider vinegar i forgot so sorry about that um but basically i left it for 20 minutes 20 minutes and then i rinsed it off now i'm applying conditioner now usually on a normal wash day i would work in much smaller sections as you've seen there i did undo quite a lot of diff of like smaller twists that i had and then made them into like bigger sections so essentially i have only four sections that i'm working on at the moment it just makes it so much quicker for me obviously the smaller your sections are the better it is when it comes to detangling and less hassle i guess um but obviously like i said i haven't got time so this is perfect for me especially when i'm in the wash so i just applied my conditioner over it and then this is actually the point where i detangle my hair so i do take my time a little bit more here to make sure that i fully detangle my hair and i detangle it carefully so i don't end up ripping off my hair and causing breakage so uh, you want to be gentle when you're doing this process obviously like i said bigger sections just take a bit longer than smaller sections but i just found that it's a bit quicker because i have so much hair and if i was to just sit there and do it in smaller sections it would have taken me much longer than it took me i think each, each section took me about five to seven minutes which is actually um okay because i only had four sections to work on um so once i've done that i'm just twisting that section away and uh, i'm then i'm going to move on to the next section and pretty much repeat the same thing um so if you're not in a rush don't do this like i said take your time i have um wash day routine on my channel already sort of detailing to you guys every single step of my normal wash day routine so this is like a very, very quick one like i said so when i'm in a rush or i haven't got enough time 
um, to spend on my hair this works perfectly fine so I will link that video somewhere on the top here for you guys top hand right hand side so if you want to see that just click on the link and it should take you to that video so yeah i'm just playing with my daughter here because she was she was crying when i was doing this that's the thing you know sometimes when you got kids they get in the way of a lot of things but hey we just find ways to work around them so as i was combing my hair i was trying to entertain her sort of you know to keep her busy so that she wouldn't continue to cry um so yeah don't in case you're wondering why i'm doing the faces <laughs> So I'm just combing that through um, and then once that's all done and then I'm going to go ahead and twist it. I'll show you exactly how much hair I lost during this whole process. To be fair, it's not really a lot of hair. I would say it's probably less hair than I would have had if perhaps I did it the other way or maybe you know equal amount i don't know but it's definitely not a lot of hair at all you'll be shocked when i show you towards the end so make sure you stay tuned till the end of this video so i finished working on my full sections i'm just applying some excess not excess extra conditioner especially on my ends and my edges guys i lost my edges through postnatal shedding i said this before i'll be trying to regrow them um I haven't really been that consistent with what I'm doing <laughs> in terms of helping to regrow my edges. So, but hey, it is definitely growing. It's sort of filling up a little bit. Um, I just need to get a bit more consistent with it. Um, yeah, so basically I put a cap on again and let my hair rest for about 30 minutes and then I went ahead and rinsed off the conditioner. So again guys, I'm doing this in the sink in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I'm using my son's cup he's no longer using that cup so I've been using it you know to do my apple cider vinegar rinse for a very long time now so I just keep it in the bathroom so yeah I'm just rinsing my hair just making sure I get rid of all the conditioner and in the process because I work in bigger sections my twist got undone so I'm just doing them again just so they don't actually dry out that's the thing my hair dries out so quickly um, so if I come out of the bathroom and I don't like um you know sealing the moisture immediately i have to reapply moisture to it because it does get dry very fast so the twisting just helps keeping that moisture then twist then wash then you know condition and then detangle again and oh it's just long so this is so much quicker at this point my hair was nice and clean it was mostly detangled to be honest because i did detangle when i had my conditioner in so I'm just going ahead now and just sitting the moisture in my hair. So I'm using the Cantu Shea Butter Leave-In Conditioner. This is my go-to leave-in conditioner, guys. You probably know this if you've been watching me from before. And also I'm using my aloe vera oil. Again, I have a video on how I make it. So I'm going to link it somewhere here for you again on the right-hand side on top of the video. So if you're interested, don't forget to hit that link and it will take you to that video. And I'll also link it in the description box. So yeah i'm just applying the leave-in conditioner here and i'm doing a final detangling okay so um but this didn't take long at all because my hair was pretty much detangled i guess it was just to sort of make it a bit a bit nicer and also to allow even distribution of the leave-in conditioner so this time around i'm going to do a braid out okay i'm not going to do a twist just because i want to have i'm working i mean those are bigger sections so i just think if they get dry quicker it will be much difficult for me to style my hair later on so the twist not the twist sorry the braids do help retain moisture a little bit better when you compare to the twist i mean for, for my hair um so that's why i decided to do braids this time um yeah just so that when i do have time and i want to style my hair it is um, a bit soft you know it's not it's not dry i don't have to reapply moisture to it so yeah but if it was perhaps um something i mean if i perhaps had to start immediately then i probably would have just twisted it um so yeah i don't know when i'm gonna style my hair guys that's the thing i'm just at home now you know so but if i style it whatever i do to it you will get to know about it so i'm just repeating it for the rest of the sections um so four sec four sections is a lot guys i mean it's not really a lot but it's a lot of hair per sections so it does take quite a 
bit of combing through you know to make sure that we get all we get rid of all of the knots and all of the yeah so pretty much you will see how much shedding i had at the end of this which was actually not too bad so yeah so just want to repeat that throughout your whole head and then braid it and that's pretty much it for this um wash day obviously if you've got more time you can go ahead and style it immediately like i said but for me i'm not going to style it now because i just you know i don't have anywhere to go um and also i haven't got time to sit here and style my hair so i will think about what to do with it later on at least now it's clean so if there's anything that i want to do i don't have to worry about washing my hair again so yeah Okay guys, so at this point I was completely done uh, tilling in the moisture in my hair. So it was nice and soft and moisturized which was which felt really good. So I'm just applying here just a little bit of uh, conditioner again to my ends. Um, just because it's the driest part of my hair and yeah and my edges as well i guess and that's pretty much it for this video guys i haven't lost that, that much hair so i'll show you exactly how much shedding i had from this whole process so really really little so it does work and it's quick and it's efficient okay so this is it for this video guys thank you so much for watching if you did enjoy this don't forget to give me a thumbs up and i'll catch you in my next video bye